do that. Did it go away? Goodness sakes. This is one of my favorite screens. Pilots, welcome back to um, Discombobulated City. You would think by now I would know what I was doing. Nope. Um, episode number 48, ladies and gentlemen. I am super excited. We've got some news tonight as well. Um, Facebook this out. Um, if you would, I know there's no one really doing Twitter, but um, no music this time. Yeah, I figured it out. Um, I can go full screen, but I'm not going to write yet. Um, I will if you like me to, though. So let me let me get in here and mess around. Um, for those of you who, who really want to see yours truly. Um, there we go. <laughs> How's that? Um, Anthony, you're on Twitter. Cool, man. Check me out on Twitter as well. You can look at the, um, the YouTube banner art and you can see my, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Amazon store, Instagram, and Patreon deal. Guys, we're just getting settled in. So I'm not here shilling. I just, uh, I just am having a good time uh, getting this thing sorted. I mean, I just got done getting the kids to bed and stuff like that. Bobby's Hobbies, uh, let's do a shout-out session. Um, and if I missed you, pop back in with a bunch of emojis. Eric Rogers in the house. Uh, Randy. Uh, Dave Kowiski. Thank you, Dave. JetFan2004. Perfect. Anthony Sanfilippo. Awesome. Hit me on Twitter. Mike and Lutz. Quit Facebook. What about Instagram? Barry GZRC, what's up? Uh, says hello to the boozers. Are they here? Brad Biddle, um, what's up? Dave Marshall, this makes it easier to flip my phone into landscape and not have text flow. Uh, all right, cool, man. Bobby's Hobbies, can't wait for this new release. You're about to uh, maiden your F-18, uh, sounded like. Hooju, hey, guys, I'm here. We'll be listening while finalizing my C-130 wiring and controls. Uh, Lori Boozer, what is going on? Good to see you. Deuces wild. Uh, yesterday saw two FMS F-18s like you have. They're fantastic, by the way. They're really nice. I It was the FMS F-18 that let me know how much I truly wanted the big one as well. <laughs> you, you know, choices are nice, even if they're the, the same plane, but different sizes and versions, for that matter. Um, Wayne Lee, what's going on? Victor Shamulus. Uh, what do you mean, no? Michael Roshka. Terry says hi, and she likes my shirt. Cool, yeah, man. We just were doing. We did church tonight. Uh, I wear collars for that, and usually whenever else I get a chance. And I'm, you know, we're lo-fi. We just sold the house. We're going to be in a new studio, and I'm going to really go deluxe. Right now, I'm just going nuts. Um, Forty-eight shows. I want to hit a year. I might take a break. Um, when we move, <laughs> I mean, to the next house, which I'm going to more than likely have to remodel, by the way. Um, let's see. So last weekend I got out, I had just a little while and I was able to fly the free wing F-18 in some kind of stupid wind. That video will be coming this week. Uh, Mitchell Farley, get your wallet ready because this release is got your name written all over it. Kevin Ferros, what is going on? Um, Mike Ramvitas, what is up? Jordan, uh, Mary Boozer flew the F-35 today, and he was telling me he was rocking it with 4,000s, like back some, which is which sounds about right. I'm going to get another one, dude. Bill Surratt, Dave Marshall. Um, someone at the field today had the little guy 64-millimeter free-wing F-18 and F-22 today. They were flying great. The F-22 is the best little 64-millimeter out of those two. Um, Eric Quinn, Arrows RC, good to see you. Yes. Um, guys, big emojis and hi and hello to Arrows RC who's in the room tonight, which is very fitting because what we're going to debut right here on the show is a new product from Arrows RC, which is so cool that you guys responded so hard um, and well to the earlier releases that they keep letting me do this. So I'm going to show you. I got some pictures and I got the thing right here. I just got it built. Uh, Mike Kennedy, what's what's up? Good to see you. Um, goodness sakes, y'all. So nice to see you all. Everybody, drop loads of emojis to Arrows RC. Let them see you. Um, 
Um, Bill Surratt. I bet the video for the F-35 is coming relatively soon because he flew it today. He probably filmed. Um, Randy's buying a knee flight extra 300. Cool. Dennis Farley, what is going on? Yes, thank you. Um, drum roll. You guys want to see what it is or should I wait a little bit longer? Blow me up with loads of emojis. Brad Biddle asks a question. Hey, Ryan, have you seen any problems with the front retract FMS Super Scorpion? You know what? Every plane, if you land them hard enough, can have issues on the retracts. Nose gears are notably the most fickle of the bunch. Um, you guys, guess whether it's a prop plane or a jet with, uh, I don't know, an emoji, right? Let me know. Barry G, I love this. Do it now, says Victor. Let's see it. Make us wait, Ryan. Um, we're, you know what? I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start dropping some pictures in and stuff like that because it's uh, it's it's. And then I'm gonna put the thing up on the uh, table as well. Uh, Kevin, I haven't bought. I you know I sold my house, but I haven't found a new one yet. Crazy, um, Dennis. You'll just have to wait on that one, man. Bill Surratt says a jet. Um, all right. Dave Marshall says Warbird. Deuces Wild says jet. Mary Boozer says OV10 question mark. Uh, I think it's a jet which he hinted to me on the giveaway. Could be, yep. You snooze, you lose. Show it. All right, all right. Are you guys ready for this? Oh my goodness. I think this is just the coolest thing. I'm going to go ahead and show you um, one of the pictures of this little beauty and then we'll start talking about it. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Oh, you guys. Here it comes. It's a jet. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing is one of the cutest little sport jets I've ever seen. It looks a lot like an Avanti. It's a 64 millimeter, 11 blade, four cell power EDF. Wingspan is about 36 inches. The length is 39. Um, we've got specs on center of gravity. The power system is a 2840, 3150 kV brushless outrunner. I'm pretty sure it's an outrunner, not an inrunner. It, it, I could be wrong. Um, it's a, got a 40 amp speed control, uh, 64 millimeter, 11 blader. It uh, takes four cell batteries from 2200 to 2600 and has this little baby has flaps and the landing gear are fixed so don't get mad they're easy to click out and you can hand launch the thing you can grab it right where the edf is and give it a nice launch this thing is epo foam um i haven't flown it yet i just got it today and really stole away some time to build out the show tonight um with the specs and things like that so check this out Here's one of the best parts about it. Look at that price. <laughs> and look at the flaps. There's a good shot of the flaps, and there's a flight shot right there. Oh, I didn't show it to you yet. I'm sorry. Check that out. $159.99. Go triple time. Get a big Sunday and eat it with some pleasure because sport jets aren't for free. You know where to get it? Hobbyzone.com. Dude, this thing is sweet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back. Let, let's... Uh, I'm going to read you some of the copy on this. Does that sound good? The Aeros Marlin 64mm EDF is an all-new design with the beginner to intermediate pilot in mind. This plane has a more robust fixed landing gear than most to handle bumpy landings. More importantly, it is the only plane in its class to have flaps to shorten the takeoff and to make approaches and landings more like those of a high-wing trainer. The motor combined with a 40 amp ESC and a powerful 64 millimeter 11 blade EDF ensure plenty of power for takeoff and maneuvers. The fan sounds amazing. This plane basically has eight screws and some servo connections to complete the assembly. No glue is necessary and because we use eight servos, we are not running a lot of control rods around. Even the nose wheel has its own servo. Flap and aileron connections are made with ball linkages uh, as well as the rudder and elevator for greater strength at higher speeds. Latch type canopy makes in-flight canopy loss a thing of the past. 
If you are looking for a first EDF to try or are looking to move up to an EDF without spinning a bundle, this is the plane for you. Sleek aerodynamic airframe, screw together assembly, flaps, ball linkages, latch type canopy, EPO foam. This, ladies and gentlemen, especially for those of you not doing Spectrum, is a wonderful um, net first jet. It really is. And, and for sale, 2200 to 2600 the canopy, I'll show you this in a minute. Uh, it has enough room. You could fit bigger in there, and there's room to slide it back. So let's take a look at uh, – we looked at some of these specs already, and I am just um, getting some more things ready here to show you. We're on that page now. And, and again, let's go back to this picture of this, baby. Look at that. And then – there's the the shot of the flaps. This thing, guys, if you if you're familiar with the Avanti, look at it. I mean, except for the keel on the bottom, this is typical sport jet. Any of you guys want to get into sport jets, but haven't, this is where you wet your whistle right here. Right here. I can't I can't get over it. I got to show it to you again. It just looks too good. Yeah, if you are running Spectrum, you could easily go with those AS3X receivers. I, you, you don't have to have a gyro in something like this, and it is solidly built. Now, I got to tell you, I got one of the first ones over here. I'm not going to do a build on this one because the way I got it, uh, it's been assembled and taken apart already, and so it's not a true depiction of what you'll get out of the box. But even mine was packed well. But again, like I said, it's been uh, it's been test flown and. Um, everything like that and, and you stick around and there's some literature on that as well arrows rc can definitely answer some questions already is i can tell um uh, it is an xt60 battery connector it, it's a nice looking little plane um and it's available on the website even now and i don't know what the eta is uh maybe they can answer that for me but i just uh i think it's I hate to say the word cute, man, when I'm talking about airplanes. <laughs> yeah, the plane is at my house, and I'm going to show it to you. All right, so let's go back. Let's go back to uh, Pilot Ryan. It's a 4S power aircraft, Lee Davidson, and this thing is a doll. Me and my boy built it um, today and had a lot of fun, actually. This beauty... Oh, check it out. Check it out, dudes. Deuce is wild. You want a mini version of the Avanti? This little 64 millimeter will, will handle it. And if you if you wanted to belly land it, that would be easy too. It's I'm gonna fire this one up in a little while, even though it's I'm gonna wake somebody up because it just sounds too good. Kevin Farrows, I have no idea on flight time yet. This thing came today. Um, but there's a cheater right here to feed the fan. There's one, two, three, four, five awesome hard point and brass insert uh, connections for mounting the wing to the fuselage. It does not have retracts, John Graham, but for 159 man. And then uh, there's access to the 64 millimeter edf it's 11 blader sounds amazing look at you got ball link everywhere elevator rudder flaps and ailerons and you can easily click these gear out and belly land this baby if you wanted to no sweat hand launcher grab it right here at the edf and here's the top shot and guys, really, I, I'm going to do an overview, but I'm not going to do a build on this unless I get another one. Um, so I know how. And there's also um, cheater here too, but it's it's plastic. This is molded plastic that's inserted into the foam, and it looks really, really nice. Look at those intakes. And you got, like I said, you got the cheaters. Those are slick looking. Those are so, it looks awesome. 
looks really nice. So, Michael Brinkley, you know what? I, I, on looks alone, I think this thing is going to fly every bit as good as the Viper, if not a little better. The one thing the Viper has going forward is that technology. But also think about the price, $159. So there's the battery bay. And right now I have a 2200 four cell in there. And I'm not going to be able to do a lot to show you right here. Um, but there's room. Look at that. You've got all kinds of room if you wanted to go with, you know, bigger packs in there. You know, and because this takes 4S batteries, a lot of us have some of those. So it takes a 2200 and 2600 is what's called out. And I think it's going to CG really good right there all the way in the front. But slightly bigger 4S packs, this plane's built to take it. It's, you know, a lot of times when you get a solid plane, or a, a lot of times when you get a beginner plane, it feels like a beginner plane, right? Like it's kind of fiddly and it just looks like, listen to this, click, super positive catch. You guys, when you finally get one of these in person, you're going to recognize some of this hardware. You got a nice plastic tip on the nose right here. Um, and then, you know, back plates on the control horns. Like I said, you've got the ball links, which is super nice. And then the, the horizontal screws on with three screws, one here one there and then you move the rudder over and you zip one right there the rudder is part of the fuselage already so there's really nothing to it and 159 guys pretty sweet i'm actually super excited to try it and um i'm gonna have to get another one because i know mike wants mike mike loves this kind of stuff for the other field he flies at can you guys see that there? Yeah, check that baby out. Yeah, the Velcro held because I got it strapped in. Um, so John Graham's asking Arrows RC if there's going to be other colors. Um, probably not, but I, I can't answer for him. Let's see. So... Excellent, valiant flight, Mike. Fred Barron, what's going on? Deuces Wild, John Graham. You guys have any questions to ask while Arrows is in here? I'm telling you, this it has flaps. I think that's amazing. There's not a bad... Well, there's a wood... Dave Kowiski, there's a wood tray um, that the battery straps to. So, yes and no. Not like the plastic ones that you can pull out. But there's a wood deck down there that I've got two straps holding the battery right now. Do you want me to take it out? The only reason it's in here is so it doesn't sit there and do a wheelie. I've just got it loosely in. But there's the, the it, you can kind of see, the wood tray right there. Hanging with the hanger rats. We are having a great show tonight, episode number 48, with a debut on the Arrows Marlin. You need to catch you one, ladies and gentlemen. This is awesome. It's EPO. It's cool. I like it. Here's the deal. Let's hear it. Want to? Yes. Yep. We're going to plug it in. We're going to do it now while it's still early. I'll get texted. Are you guys ready? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna spin it up. Har har. Okay. You guys ready? Holy 
Holy smokes. I smashed up the studio. <laughs> get in like the biggest trouble okay <laughs> that's it <laughs> what do you think of that that was that was fun dude it does sound good nathan nathaniel uh it does sound good i'm i'm actually really you know what's so funny? I've been I really enjoyed working with Hobby Zone uh, on these new releases, and I had no idea what was coming until like two days ago. Um, like what it looked like or anything. Um, but I was super excited about it conceptually. Um, I like choices, and and then when I finally saw what this. The, what it looks like and how it's made and how it goes together. I'm like, wow, this thing is a, a rugged little, um, little dude, you know, great first EDF, another wonderful choice. Uh, there, there's a handful of good choices out there now, but goodness sakes, man, you screw this one up and get another before you even are done getting one of the others. Um, Dennis Farley. Yes. Mitchell Farley, that's for you. Top Gun theme plays in the background, or maybe just my head. They'll, they'll, it, I hope it's just your head, because they'll copyright strike me otherwise. You know that little tiny bit of music I messed up last week? I, I, they wouldn't let me... Yeah, correct. They hit, they hit me. Um, whoa, this is wild. Harry landed... Harrier landed his Super Hornet today in strong winds. <laughs> right, Anthony? Just do it, Dennis. Hey, Farley's. Hey, let you know. And hey, if you guys go pop on this and hit that crazy order button, let them know wh where you came from, will you? Um, perfect backseat jet, Sean Gallagher, RC Jet Works team pilot. Absolutely. This thing looks like fun. I'm telling you, this is the kind of thing it's like I want to race them with like my buddies. I think this thing looks like a lot of fun, regardless of your skill level. Um Arrows RC mentions the flaps and how cool that is to get get used to using flaps and slow these babies down, especially for first timers. That makes sense. A lot of times first timers are used to um like dead sticking the thing in and all that kind of stuff. It, a, a jet can fly slower than it will glide. So if you have the flaps in and you hold the nose off just a little bit and you keep your thrust in at idle and things like that, you can really get this baby to set down. I mean, I, you know, you guys watch. Hey, Tim, good to see you. Sticking monkey pants. Kevin J, what is up? Um, if you guys watch the videos we did in Muncie, I had all that runway in the world, but a lot of the time I was able to not roll out very far at all on whatever I had there because nose up and a little bit of throttle and arrow break it. This would be fun as a toss in the car and fly. I could keep it with me most of the time. I probably have to get one, says Dave Kowiski. Poor Dave Kowiski, gonna have to get a blue marlin. <laughs> uh, so fun. I, guys, I cannot wait to show you a flight video on this thing. I can't wait to get it up in the air. I've got a couple things that haven't been up that need to go up. And me and my boy, we like I said, we built this jet together. Super easy. Raymond Molina, good to see you. Um, wow, cool, 72. Nice. Um, don't forget to hit that crazy like button. Yeah, we got Arrows RC in here with us right now tonight, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to make a little room, and I want to get this special guest up in here with me. Because, man, it is... It's it's a darling little jet. I can't wait to fly this thing. Uh, I got a little speedster to fly. Oh yeah, so I was telling you, we, uh, me and my boy built this jet this afternoon, um, in between responsibilities and trying to find a house and everything else. Yeah, dude, custom paint job all day long. If you don't like that, Bill Surratt asked me if an Admiral Four Thousand is too big. You know what? Not for a guy that's got some skill 
I think the heavier you get a small jet, the more likely you are to bounce them around. I think this jet's tough enough to take it, though. Um, I think 3,000s, though, 2,500s all day long. Like, let me tell you this. I'm probably going to try a 4,000 in it. But I don't recommend it. We flew big stuff in the E-Flight Viper. And remember, guys, the E-Flight Viper is six-cell power. So you guys who don't want to get in because those six-cell battery prices drive you crazy, we're starting to see the 4S jets catch up in quality and fit and finish that the 6S guys are getting. You and your boy is the cool part, Ryan. Yeah. So we have the FMS Ranger, and me and my kid, we put a parachute on one of his Woody dolls from Toy Story like a year ago. And he said something to me this morning, and I was like, oh, yeah, uh, reminded me. So we made a little rig to drop Woody and a camera and out of that plane with a parachute. And we're going to go out and do that one of these days. And that's Rafey's plane. He, he's got that FMS Ranger 1220. He's going to get some stick time on. And we kept that Dusty, that Dynam Dusty plane. He, he really likes that. Um, I got to get another one of these too for Mike because I, I, I'd like to keep this one around. But uh, So we got to fly the Ranger 1220 again and drop Woody out of it. I got a gyro in my big F-18, so I want to play with that a little bit. And then this baby here, and then I got that Flash 850, that Speedster. So I got a handful of things I want to get out there. Um, and I never flew the F-35 for you guys either. Sean Gallagher, dude, get them while they're hot. Hey, Arrows, did you tell us when they're coming? I know that it's a pre-order right now, and it's probably, I don't know if that's the price it's going to always be or if it's going up when they get here. Uh, Sean Gallagher has a handful of RC Jetworks 4S 2200s waiting on this jet. Yeah, man. Um, Kevin Ferris, Mary Boozer says, Kevin Ferris, it would be perfect for Rudy and Papa. Yeah, man. Um, get them. Guys, you're going to recognize that. I mean, if, if you haven't already got it from me telling you, this is a quality jet, right? We got back plates on the control horns, ball links. It's got a super duper 11, mil, 11 blade EDF. Um, it's got some hardware and some methods that should be familiar. Th this is a nice bird. Um, there's a lot of giveaways, you know, that give you an indicator of, of how truly wonderful the DNA is here. I like it. I can't wait to get this Marlin out. Dude, I got to get it pumped up so y'all can see it. Hold on a minute. What's the KV? It's like 3150. You know what? I'm going to show you the specs and you can read it for yourself if you'd like because I did read them one time, but I am going to put the specs in the video for you right now. Dave Marshall, I will. I definitely will keep that in mind to test out a few different battery sizes for you guys. You guys love that and I love to give you what you want. Um, and go. I forget what the question is, but there's the specs. 3150 KV. This is like the miniature HSD Super Viper, by the way. This is like this. This is that classic Avanti Super Viper, you know, shape. Um, belly landing, will the servos be okay? You know what? You can always model a little bit with some plastic spoons and make sure you'd be okay. There's not like... Um, loads of dihedral or anything that's going to help keep the wings up and away. So, you know, if you did something, it, it, you know what? A lot of times you take the risk and you'll be okay. Every now and then, depending on your grass, things could snag. You never know. Let me pump this up for you guys, though. Do we get the specs red? A little bit like the Futura. I don't know. I tell you, there's a lot of the, uh, a lot of things about the, uh, 
A lot of things about the sport jets share similarities. And, uh, you know, that's what you have. Um, I think it's it's the Futura, at which I have, has got some more squarish kind of facets. Where this one reminds me a little bit more of the Avanti. But it's still, it's totally... It, it does have its own unique kind of intake design and stuff. Let's see. I want you guys to be able to see this thing. You guys want to see another, like, picture, picture of it? Yeah, this looks like a fun one for belly landing, dude. Uh, boozer. I mean, I think, I mean, honestly, I'm going to fly it on its wheels. Um, because I think that's the harder kind of landing to tell people what's going on but i think belly landing it would be fantastic i think if you do belly land it you're going to want to take the servo out that's right in the front right in the front is the servo for the nose gear so it's one of those things you'll easily be able to um you'll easily be able to remove that if you want to belly land it and save a little bit of weight too jet fan 2004 you're correct um yeah you're right no problem yeah this thing's i can't wait to fly it, you guys i can't wait to fly it and i'm really uh i think it's super cool uh you guys l hit the chat kill it with emojis i think it's super cool at hobby zone uh trust us and and lets us see these things first really uh, they, they just got the web seat up and running. Yeah, Ryan will have to keep the wheels on for touch and goes for sure. And then maybe some skip and goes when I lose the wheels. Right, Dennis? <laughs> Let's call it Mike for the co-host. Yeah. Um, yeah, Michael Roshka. Uh, the kids don't need to go to the movies. Love RC. Appreciate that. Dennis Farley with the emojis. Blue Racer Marlin doing the trench run, John Graham says. That's a it's a nice looking plane, yet you guys. Did we get an answer on when it's coming? I'm sorry. Sean Gallagher, wonderful point. Uh he likes that it has a rudder. Most sixty four millimeter jets don't. That's true. And we're we're living in a land of six cell or nothing on jets for the most part, and somebody will correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty excited about there being a 4S offering that's going to cut the muster. Um, for real, Eric Rogers, I mean, an affordable Avanti, absolutely. Okay, I see it, August 815, right around the corner, nice. Um, I tell you what, you guys blow them out like you did on the Warbirds. You better get in on it while you can. Um, let's take a look one more time at... The product page shall we and another nice flight shot where you get to see the flaps and uh another one coming in for landing looks like it's a solid looking bird you guys i just can't put it down quit quit looking at it You know, you guys who want to rip it up and just fly it as fast as you can, you might want to do some, you know, it's a it's a foam jet, so you might want to do your thing to the hinges. It looks like the hinges are, are just like the live hinge we're used to, like foam, but it's cool. Dirty D, is it bare EPO or painted white? It's bare EPO, and then decals are, are where we're getting the blue, Dirty D. No, it has rudder, Bill. It has rudder. It's, I mean, it's everything but the retracts, man. Everything but the retracts. Absolutely. Yep, standard elevator. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want a full flying stab on something like this. Um. Yep, regular elevator. And Dan, he, he's right. It's hard to paint EPO white without it going yellow in a year. I, I think they kind of, we'll see how the L39s do, but I know that the uh, T45 was a tough one. That son of a gun, it definitely went, it definitely went white or yellow. 
Yes, it has flaps. Can you believe it? Look at this shot of the flaps. I'll show you. Bam, right there it is. Look at that coming in. Coming in, looking great. It's a, I can't wait to get it out, you guys. Mike and I are going to have to fight over it. Yeah, the Big Avanti isn't a full flying stab either. That's right. Will a 4S 2600 work well in this? Yes, absolutely. Um, Hippie64 asks if this has seen any grass fields. You know what? I'll take it up in grass for you. It is a good looking jet, Dirty D. <laughs> what would I miss, Boozer? Unless the Boozer custom paints your T45, Ryan. I don't get it. Uh, sorry. Arrows says they flew it off grass. Look at And it survived. I mean, I have that same one. There's only one over here right now. This is it. This is it. This is it. Why don't you post a flying video? It will sell itself. Absolutely, Deuce is wild. And in the meantime, you guys want in on it. Here's your chance as well. Um, Because you're right. Look at that, baby. Oh, man. The 11-blade fan might as well be a 12. You can't del tell a difference. It's... It's moving some air, and it's got plenty of, uh, the fan is fed by one cheater on the bottom and two little small ones on the side that are nice plastic molded pieces uh, for the louver vent that, that feeds the fan. Sometimes folks will do that out of, like if you, the E-Flight F-16 is pretty awesome, but the bottom of the aircraft where they have the foam vents are kind of garbage they look bad they wrinkle bad um i mean still an awesome plane no doubt would you do gyro with the small edf you know what maybe almost kevin it, it i really don't usually put gyros in sport jets i haven't yet um but i do like gyros in my jets that i know i want to fly like slow um and nose high and also Things happen quick on jets. You guys know this. And so I want to be able to fly my stuff if it's windy. Because when I get an opportunity to fly, it, I may not always get to pick my my weather, my, right, the wind. So that's why you guys see me flying in all kinds of stuff. Um, So, you know, it really depends how it acts. If, if I feel like it needs one, I'll put one in it. If I, you know what I mean? If I know that I could enjoy myself a little more if I had one, I put one in it. But I kind of anticipated putting one in on the Avanti and never did. I thought I'd put one in on the L39. I never did. I thought I'd put one in on, actually, by the time I was doing the, the Hawk from FMS, I was like, I, this doesn't need a gyro <laughs> because I already knew like the sport jet shape. I was kind of okay, didn't need it. They're a little bit more forgiving and I feel like usually because there's no bells and whistles in a way um, that you that you get um, more time to make corrections and things like that um, Deuces Wild does fob protection and he foam tacks a screen over his cheater vents uh, he called them Chester vents but we know what we're talking about the AstroTurf I fly off of uh, put tiny rubber chips down to prevent the turf from matting down. So I, I screen to keep debris out of the fan. Good idea. Um, jet fan put gyros on the Freewing F-18 and F-22, but not on the Stinger. I 100% I get it. I just put a gyro in my F-18, and you guys probably already know that I really enjoy having one in the F-22. Just to lighten the workload on the wing rock, because I love to hold the nose up Dennis Farley is going with this as his first EDF ladies and gentlemen round of applause of emojis please round of applause of emojis for Dennis Farley uh, who's who's getting his first jet um, I talk to Dennis all the time and I feel like you really got him with this one arrows because he he uh, 
I think he likes them, but he's never going to pop on those 6L batteries. Yeah, look at all this love you're getting. Whoa, what in the hell, Mary Boozer, is that mean? <laughs> you're going to, like, get, you're going to be on the news. Mary Boozer, Mrs. Boozer, Love RC, Arrows, cool. Mike Kennedy, Applesauce, applause, I mean. Raymond Molina, appreciate the emojis. You know how fun that is to see? Will technically be my second. I have had a micro MIG. Yeah, Mitchell, technically right but really this will be your first one i swear micros don't count and some guys are going to hate me for that but they don't count man uh sean gallagher tells dennis he'll get addicted i think he's dennis has just been got an itchy trigger finger man because he has been watching me have all his fun on jets and stuff and dennis has got his warbird chops on pretty good where he's ready he's ready to take the dive uh, I like to live dangerously. Way to go, Farley clan. I bet they got two of them today. Uh, clap. That <laughs> Jet fan agrees with me. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody have a good 4th of July. I, I certainly did. It's been, you know, pretty warm everywhere. Our friends in California, I hope they didn't get shook up too much. Rickham Royce. Hey, where's Dave's RC? He said he was going to be here tonight. He's going to love this thing. He ought to, his, his buddy ought to, um, yes, Raymond, let's do that. And next time these guys do a new release, we're going to have, I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to pull him in on the show as well so he can talk about it also. Um, I'm I'm just really one step away on on interview city. Um, he is always late, so you want to see the battery bay? All right, are vents on this one foam or plastic, dude? They're plastic, Brian Hippie sixty four, uh, and they are they're nice. It's not shoddy. So there's the battery bay for who's asking. And it's got right now one of those 2200 4S brick, you know, batteries in it. And guys, I'd like to do a, a legit build on, on one of these, but it may end up being an overview. But I, I, I tell you what, we got so many buddies in here with channels, we can watch their build as well. But that's a... That's a good lot of room. A lot of times, 64 millimeter jets, even 70 millimeter jets with retracts like my F-18, there's really not a lot of room for the battery. This thing has low. This has room in it like it's a, a 70 or an 80 millimeter. So you can do different size packs in here, and you've got room to move them back. The hinges are foam. The, I guess Dave Marshall. What I would say is the surface hinges. Um, this is the only sample we had right now. Um, so yeah, uh, I was looking at the hinges. They're just they're just foam. So you know, keep an eye after hinges, which is always the case. And that hinge tape stuff is amazing, and so is foam tack. Um, you put it on thin. Deuces Wild wants to see an eighty millimeter T. 33 you're not the only one man you're not the only one yeah jet fan the the 70 millimeter f-16s both of them have a good amount of room i think the free wing one does have a little bit more because it doesn't have to compete with that as3x receiver which also makes the e-flight one super super dope i just uh i gotta pack up one of those for our buddy mike kennedy here we go. Let's try not to screw the thing up before I get to fly it. Goodness sakes. Lee Davidson, you'll have to watch it on the replay. I already fired this baby up. And uh, I'm probably going to start to receive texts from my wife um, pretty soon <laughs> if I do it again. And I'm not going to do that. Uh, so on the replay, you can check it out. Mrs. Boozer, let's hear it. I'm sorry, Lee. All good. We'll fly the PT-17 in the morning. Um, I'm going to take this baby out tomorrow, whether there's a camera on it or not. (laughs) 
Yeah, Eric Rogers is telling Roy uh, that he he's going to end up getting a new sewing machine for his lady and a little jet for himself. So fun. You guys flying at the beach, having a good time? Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, we're we're uh, we're hitting an hour. So, who's going to be there hanging out on Wesley's show, Mary Boozer style, tomorrow? Anybody? He's going to unbox the uh, RC Jetworks HSD Super Viper. This thing's a monster. It's customed out to RC Jetwork style. We did a turbine version video on one of those a little while ago. Tim's in. Ryan, let me know how it goes. Looking at 2,500 and 3,000 batteries. Yeah, you, they fit fine, Dennis. I, I think if that's what you have already, you, you're going to be fine. You're not going to need to get that 2,200. I know you already have loads of those because you fly all your E-Flight stuff on the 4S packs. So what you have will work. Captain Photon says he's going to be curling tomorrow, watching curling tomorrow night, and he won't be able to be at the Boozer show. That's funny. Uh, sorry, going to Key West. Chris Jackson says, hell yeah, Wesley. Um, Craig Beaven says he'll be there. Uh, Victor Shamula says, 12S fun. I know you're talking about the Super Viper, not the mini Super Viper. Marlin, which is, man, I'm telling you, Avanti Jr. Super Viper. Yeah, man, I'm always hanging out on my buddy's shows if I can. Uh, Dave's last night. Uh, I think I'm funny in the chat. I don't know if it's true, but I think I am in Dave's chat. And then uh, we have fun watching the boozers, too. Um, cooking burgers and watching the boozers. Jack Miller, I'm in for the boozer unboxing. You just got yours. Awesome. Uh, love RC talking about incursions. Speaking of incursions, I haven't seen it yet, but our, our our friend Chloe, I think, killed her tiger cat in the wires at um, Tired Iron Aviation. I want to put a little feeler out, too. Arrows RCs uh, dropped a comment uh, to let you guys know that they're, they're going to be adjusting the price more to reality. Uh, we have to take a $10 price hike on the Warbirds in two weeks. So if you guys were looking at the Bearcat, the Trojan, the Mustang, the P-47, the Corsair, um, you got two weeks, and they're and they're going to be up $10, okay? Victor says he wish he had room for a 12S jet. Um, Raymond Molina, it's an XT60 on the this jet right here is the type of connector we have. Um yeah, Dennis Farley. Dennis Farley says, yeah, that's okay, Arrows. It's still a good price. It 100% is a good price. Um, Victor says, thanks for the update, Arrows RC. Uh, I'm sorry, Ricky. I'll have to have a talk with him. Oh, no, on the not the Tiger Cat. Yep. Eric G., what's going on? Was up? Jeremy Bressler, hi. Arrows RC says, hate surprises. Yeah, I get it. Thanks for putting that out there like that. Um, Dennis Farley says he's got everything but the T28. Um, love my arrows, cat. Need to get it out for a new video now that we got all the new camera equipment. Do it, boozer. Um, zombies in bikinis at the beach. Tis the season. Um, Lee Davidson says arrows RC going to do a giveaway on this one. We'll have to work something out maybe later on that. We don't know. I can't answer for him on that one. Um, 12S makes the batteries alone more than this whole plane. Yeah. You know what, though? There's nothing like flying that big stuff. It's like, just like I said in the turbine video, it's like a, it's like the Carbon Z of jets, that big monster Super Viper. It's crazy. Um, just got my, the Fred Baron just got his FMS Tiger Cat and built ready for the Maiden like about eight others. Let us know how it goes, Fred. I got to have one of those. And by the way, I'm still waiting on the A10. This thing shipped out forever ago. The FMS A10, I mean, it is, uh, I really wished I had it for the events, but I, I haven't. I'm waiting on it. 
Uh, Victor Shamuel is dropping the link to my Teespring store. Thanks a lot for that. Actually, let's just show you one item that's on the store right now, but there are many others. And there is one Corsair shirt. Um, a lot of our buddies have it, and of course, Wesley's Amazon store is killing it too. Um, really looks good. And when it's time, uh, pretty soon after this live stream, we have to go do our best to destroy the Death Star. So I just thought I would show you a briefing room of Star Wars real quick because um, I think that's funny. <laughs> uh, that's right. When when Arrows did the show the first time, uh, they were already in hand so they could give them away. Um, I like the Alaskan camo on that FMS A10. I cannot wait to see it in person, you guys. Lee Davidson has 220 videos on his channel now and would love to do some in that plane. Uh, best shirt ever, Dave Kowiski says. The Corsair shirt. Awesome. Thank you. I know you have one. Um, Ricky got Chloe on Snapchat. Gold leader on. I like my rosy boozer. I want one bad, but take time to save that much. Yep. The Super Viper is two 6,000 6S packs and onboard batteries for the receiver. Laugh out loud, I got... Uh, <laughs> uh, Lee Davidson's channel. Check him out, ladies and gentlemen. Red Leader standing by. Uh, Deuces Wild. You're a, bo you're a man, right? Of course you like RC Girl. Um, I don't see her fly a lot of planes unless it's an apprentice. Victor posted a video of that little pusher FMS you showed last week. It was going 200 miles an hour. Holy moly. Um, I can't wait to fly that thing. Uh, so, sorry about Chloe's Tiger Cat. Absolutely. I actually have a video. I haven't put it out yet because I still have a lot of video from Muncie and Jet Jam um, that I got to get, get, though. Got my Boozer shirt on now. I wear my Boozer shirt all the time, but they they quit paying me to wear it so i'm not wearing it tonight um dave kowiski shrank out of his shirt he needs to order a smaller one now get to it operators are standing by rebel scum fred baron <laughs> so funny oh my gosh with the girls C come on save it uh Do you think she would block Captain Photon? Probably. Depends how you behave. Thanks to everyone that supported Ryan and my t-shirt stores. We really do appreciate it, guys. Absolutely, Boozer. Boozers are a good group to be teamed up with. Uh, we help each other out tremendously. Um, sponsoring cost you, Boozer, says Dennis Farley. Yeah, they, they pay, though. They pay in blood, sweat, and tears. Eric Rogers says he's a traitor, a venomous traitor, Benedict Arnold. He has no Boozer or Pilot Ryan shirt yet, but wears his Dave's RC shirt all the time. Thanks, Eric Rogers. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Um, <laughs> try to fly him. Good thing. Set up a special savings account just for you. Yeah. Dog shampoo. Get it on the Amazon store. Um, CZ Flyer, late arrival. What's the jet? Oh, my goodness. Where have you been? All my life, Aero 64 millimeter 4S jet. Check this out. I'm going to show it to you right now. Bam. 64 millimeter, 11 blade, 4 cell power. Awesome little sport jet, guys. It's got flaps as well. Epo foam, rudder, elevator ailerons and flaps it's full house warp it's a full house jet other than the retract so fix gear or belly land it bought two planes and blew the budget pilot Ryan. if you don't have to tell me i'm just giving you a hard time i'm not worried about it i don't need i'm not here to make money folks i just love to sell planes um, Captain Photon wears his Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike sweatshirt to Starbucks in the hot weather and drink hot coffee and can't get a DM reply on Facebook. That's not true. Captain Photon. By the way, this Captain thing. 
<laughs> I saw. By the way, I re, I don't know if I answered you, but I answered you in my head. Yeah, that's right. We were talking about the F-15 a little bit and the F-14. So uh, when I am ready to do the F-14, I'll let you know. Okay? There you go. I just gave you a thumbs up. Hey, I got a lot coming at me, Ricky. I'm sorry, man. Hey, Captain Photon. I'm not fibbing. I saw it. The plane is 159. Go triple time. Get a big Sunday and eat it with some pleasure because peanuts ain't for free. Um. Dennis Farley, 159, 159, operators are standing by. Get your pre-order action. These things are going to be arrived in a month, month and a half. Um, and then, while you're thinking about waiting on your beautiful four-cell power bad mamma jamma, you can go ahead and save the Rebel Alliance by knocking out the Death Star, if you would, please. <laughs> yeah, one one fifty nine, right? Can you believe it? Wesley, Florida rain canceled my race in Daytona, says Chris Jackson. Chris Jackson. Uh sorry, Mr. Jackson. That's why I said the thing about Roy having one in the future. Got it. Subject oot. Hey, you can be careful talking to sub stuff on YouTube. They're nuts about it. They, if they think it's a sub for sub deal, they'll freak out. After I see some flight videos, then I may get one. Awesome. Uh, I cannot wait to show you flight videos of this thing. It's going to be a lot of fun. Me and Mike are going to have a, a, a good time with it. I want a couple of these because I think we sh This is... If you screw it up, it's a little low. It's a little less pucker factor, right? Like this is like formation jet practice jet. You know what I mean? Um... Yep, Tube likes his jets, says Loves RC. Yep. After I see some flight videos, let's see. Arrows RC dropping the link. Thank you for that. Uh, Florida rain knocked a tree over on Boozer's house. I hope everything inside the garages and all is cool. Um, because I know what's in there. Yes, that's Hobby Zone, Wreck'em Roy. That's right. That's right. Um, by the way, take a look at this, you guys. Oh, that's funny. I'm there like twice. That's cool. But we crossed 5,000, ladies and gentlemen. We're up there. We're up there at five over 5,000, just like yesterday or day before. So uh, that's pretty cool. But back to the star of the show. Look at this baby. I can't wait. And there's a, there's a, a nice write-up from Robert Ringle. Uh, who's who's kind of one of the early fl uh, pilots of these things um, in Minneapolis who works close with Dan. And uh, I'm going to be really relying on his first um, impressions. He, may, he wrote a very detailed report of his first impressions of flying this jet. Uh, which I'm going to completely rely on and, you know, all just for me kind of stuff. But, um, and I'll pass that along. I didn't get a manual with this, so I'm going off of this, uh, off of our buddy. Uh, you guys might know him as 19,000 RPM on the forums, but uh, Robert Ringel, great guy and very knowledgeable pilot who, um, he gave me a thesis on on this thing, and I and I'm glad to have it. So arrows, please thank him for me on that, and I will be uh, again relying on that before my flights. Ryan, you have made me buy so many planes. My wife hates you. I'm sorry, man. My wife hates me too, but oh well. <laughs> Um, Dave Marshall, this will be my first EDF, and I'm going to post a video of the Maiden on YouTube for all to see. Landing on wheels or on the canopy. My first EDF flight will be televised. This should be fun. Man, do you do Facebook, Dave Marshall? Please post it on the RC Pilots Lounge Facebook group and anywhere else they'll take you. Jeff's Custom RC, what is going on? Check out all your buddies, guys. Jeff's been putting out loads of videos. 
Jeremy Bressler, watching you got me in a jet, so I got the E-Flight F-15 Eagle. What's your thoughts on that jet? Um, I haven't flown one, but I know it's quality. Um, it's a good, another good beginner offering. Sport jet always are a little bit easier to learn on because they fly more like what we're used to in a way predictable like a warbird or sport plane. Um, but if it's wor- if F F fifteen's working for you, go for it. Ha! <laughs> I got you. <laughs> What's up, phone boy? That's how we stayed married for thirty one years. You 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 get her what she wants, and you get what you want. Having a great time, Ryan. Absolutely, Jeff. I'm all by myself, guys in Chicago, guys and gals. If you want me to come fly with you, I am available to rent by the hour. Get in line, dude. Take a number, Photon. <laughs> you, you need to come to Texas. Work that out. We go in like October or something. I think we're going to make up our own event there, which is crazy because I live here. But I just have so much fun there. Um, time for bed, says JetFan2004. 39 years this year congratulations or sorry which what do you want to hear i'm just teasing um you must take good care of her or she wouldn't have stuck around especially do you know guys who fly planes (laughs) nerding out on planes like we do you must treat her right or she'd have bounced uh captain photon where you fly i fly from schiller and fox valley dirty d um Photons in Chicago. Chris Jackson tells me I need to come to Hagerstown, Maryland. Uh, Dennis Farley says 38 plus years for him. Congratulations. I'm going to be 11 years in July. Uh, The plane behind me is a plywood workbench, but this one right here in front of me is the new marlin from hobby zone sport jet 64 millimeter 11 bladed fan 4s power up to snuff on technology and and fit and finish 45 years for bill congrats um awesome 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 yeah phone boy check this out i'll show you a good picture of it since uh check this little 64 millimeter has flaps and a rudder you don't usually see that And it looks really nice. If you ever had eyes for the Avanti or like a big Super Viper, this little baby right here, 4 cell power, 2200 to like 3000s, I would say, um, is a sweet spot. Craig Beaven used the A3 for the first time on my Freewing F-22, and it was a totally different aircraft. What a difference. It flew great. Absolutely. That plane is so light, it'll get blown around and you'll work really hard in a roll when what you want to be doing is playing with throttle and pitch. I think for me, that's just a throttle and pitch plane. And yeah, uh, a lot of rudder work if you're keeping it flat and slow. But yeah, it, it, it's, uh, it really tames it a little bit. Not that it's hard to fly, but just like the F-35, they're super responsive. Um. By the way, phone boy says zero years for him because he's 15. <laughs> uh, so, oh, I'm trying to show you that jet, but I didn't follow through. There you go. Three a.m. where you are, Kevin J. Good to see you. Thanks for coming over. Get out of here, man. Come down to the Fort Wayne area and fly the farm with me and my son Charlie, Jim Reed says. Oh, man, absolutely. Phone Boy RC, what's the price? One fifty nine while supplies last. It's a pre-order right now available at HobbyZone.com. Check this out. Right here on this YouTube channel, this community is so special that we get the opportunity to be the first to announce planes like this. Uh, Hobby Zones, Arrows RC line of aircraft. We are proud to be the ones who have brought it to you. And you guys have responded overwhelmingly where they keep letting me do it. And I think that's absolutely over the moon, fantastic, and it pleases me to no end. Tube dubbed you Oot in a Suit. Cool, man. I have to watch some of that stuff again. Absolutely, Jeff. Love the community. And there's the jet. 159. Go triple time. Get a big Sunday and eat it with some pleasure. Because <laughs> peanuts ain't for free. Uh, 
I wish my buddy was here. to. I, I just keep repeating that same inside joke. Eventually, you repeat it long enough, circle back and touch base, and it's kind of like Dave Letterman. It, it ends up being funny. Um, I'm officially addicted to EDFs. There are worse things, phone boy, and congratulations, and welcome to the club. This is EDF and Prop Warbird Anonymous. We are here, and by the way, make sure on your way out to hit the like button and drop your payload in the Death Star to destroy it. Thank you very little for that. Here we go. Let's go back to this. Large and in charge. Don't call me Marge. How are you? <laughs> Glad to be here. Oh my goodness. You only watch your own videos? Man, just honestly, dude, when I edit them and then really never again. And, and unless I'm, I, I just don't get bored because there's always something to do. Kevin J, take care. You take it easy as well. Until next time, fly safe. We will see you. Thanks for coming over, everybody. Um, and and you know what? I'm a phone boy RC. No, this one does not have retracts. It has everything else, but 159 price point entry level four cell uh, jet that sounds like the big boys. I think the eleven blades give it that whoosh that you normally don't get um, out of a jet this size. Arrows RC, thanks for saying that. We are making all announcements first here, right here on this YouTube channel. Can you believe it, guys? I think that's amazing. It It's happened by mistake. We're, we're almost a year of consecutive shows. I'm super proud of it. And I'm super uh, just happy to have you all here with me. My name is Sean. Oh, I lost your comment, Sean. I want to read it. Where'd it go? Hi, my name is Sean. I have an EDF addiction, says Sean Gallagher. Sean Gallagher, man, my buddy, RC Jetworks team pilot, Air Boss Supreme from Jet Jam. When you hear the Air Boss talking, the southern one, it's him. He taught me how fun it was to fly with an Air Boss. Uh... There's a lot more coming, guys. Uh, this is comment from Arrows RC, so stay tuned right here on this channel um, and, and the usual social media outlets for me, which is really Facebook and Instagram, largely, uh, and, and then YouTube ultimately as well. Because like I say, weekly, we're going to drop the news on you right here. So uh, what's for week 52, one year? Victor, I don't know, but I am, I'm super pumped, and it's only four weeks away, and I'm and I'm a lot going on, you know, Get got to try to find a house and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I, I remodeled a house three years ago, and I never missed a beat making videos. Uh, I had a quota then, and I never missed a beat, even though I was in the midst of moving and remodeling a house and actually spent half a week in Oshkosh. Uh, you'd never know it because I got my priorities straight. <laughs> What's important? Well... This hobby is important for me. So uh, I, I really keep it up and I put in the work and I'm super proud and I and I really, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I'm four weeks away from 52 and uh, I tell, I'm talking to my boy about it today, Rafe, and uh, he's like, you gonna take a break? I was like, ah, uh, no. <laughs> I was like, maybe when we move, I'll have to do a premiere, but I am not missing Saturday night at nine o'clock. I don't care if it has to be a, a premiere because I just, you guys, this is built in at this point. And that's why I do it consistently like this. Um, it, it's, it's just cool. We need to get these in and we can look at giveaways. Then this was just first announcement and we only had one sample. We flew it and shipped it to Ryan. Yeah. I got this just in the nick of time for tonight, which is just so fun. Um, Jeff's cus Whoa, Fred. Holy smokes, dude. Thanks. Marlin money. You're welcome, Arrows RC. Let's get this party started. Uh, wow, that's fantastic. You know what I got to do? I got to make some really cool, like, uh, picture thing happen when people do that super chat. That's neat. Like, make it rain or something. Hey, make it rain on that. That's that beautiful little Marlin. You guys, if, if you're on the fence, I'll push you over that fence here in a, uh, as soon as I get to fly the baby. Uh, I cannot wait. 
Uh, thank you, Fred Barron. You're you're really nice. I appreciate that. Jeff's Custom RC. Uh, I think you were saying good night. Make sure you guys check out Jeff's Custom RC. Tap the notification bells when you subscribe to your buddies because um, you don't always know if you don't tap that bell. So, so do that. I want to ask you guys a question while I've got you. We still got 66 dudes in here. We're rolling over an hour. I'll try to wrap it pretty soon. Um, I always say that. Um, Mary Boozer, are you talking to me, man? Hit me in Facebook because I forget. Um, if that's for me, what you're talking about. That was for Ryan. 5,000 subs. What did I miss? I'm sorry. What did I miss? Oh, yeah, yeah. Would this be a good uh, EDF trainer? I think it would be Plastic Aviator. It's, it, it, and it also depends on the technology quotient. But the one thing you have to think about, like, okay, so everybody knows the E-Flight Viper is a fantastic apprentice-like jet trainer. It's also a six-cell aircraft. This is a 4S aircraft. That's a no-brainer if you have 4S batteries, you know what I mean? Or if you're flying E-Flight Warbirds or sport planes and stuff, and you already have 4S packs, why not wet your whistle on one of these? I think it would be a good EDF trainer, and it's going to fly honest. It's got a great shape. It's got a great build. It's going to take some abuse as well because it's solidly put together, and it, it's good stuff in here. Um... So yeah, hit the hit the notification bell for your buddies so you can um, be notified. That's what it is, a notification bell when your buddies drop new videos. I wanted to ask you guys. I have the Boozer 1000 giveaway sitting in the shop right now, buddy. Or should I say the first giveaway? Save it for your, I, I don't know, Wesley. Do whatever you want to do, but I, I, I just, uh, I'm a little lost. Sorry. Um. Boozer's getting really close to a thousand, ladies and gentlemen, and he's going to do a giveaway. That, I, I'm a little cheaper than that. <laughs> well, we hit five thousand, and I really kind of just I made a post and I let it be. But we'll we'll see what's going on. Uh, the question I was going to ask, thank you, San Diego uh, Oot, um, is this? I've got Bill Shepard. Thanks, man. Um, I want to know what you guys are my most loyal dudes right here. What do you want me to edit up and get out first? Uh, I've got a few options. I've got more F-22 stuff. I've got uh, the custom P-47 1500mm Razorback red tails that I did. And I flew it with a Mustang red tails, which is pretty cool. So, so I've got more F-22. i got the red tails P-47. I've got some other people flights too, which I really got to, I can't wait to put them up. I've got a four ship flight of F-86 with the Timber Brothers, the Timber Father, and our buddy Bobby Kamita. Um, that's going to be, phone boy says F-22. Uh, <laughs> you're funny, Photon. Leave him alone about the wheel. Uh, <laughs> P-47, P-47, P-47 seems to be the answer. And I also have, uh, <laughs> he's from Minnesota, Photon. He can take it, man. They're born in flannel and hiking boots up there. Uh, they're tough as they get. Uh, greatest people ever uh, in this chat room, I'm telling you. So I want you guys to, you, you guys tell me, and I'll, I'm going to answer the call, do whatever y'all seem to want first. It looks like the jug. Um, Yeah, I got one video on the P-39, and that's sadly going to be the only one, I think. I have to just move on sometimes, right, Dennis? <laughs> um, anything with invasion stripes, he says. The wheel was a disaster, says Arrows RC. Uh, Phone Boy wants some F-22 action. Watch the F-22 uh, stock versus FMS fan video we just did, and then... I was flying. I was doing some crazy inverted kind of flat spin stuff with the um, F twenty two, 
and Mike filmed it. So we've got that. We've got the Cessna 170 from Flex Innovations video at night, which was cool. Um, Reckham Roy, the P, you, you can get that P39 at HobbyZone.com if you're going to get one. Dennis Farley has a P39 now he likes a lot. Um, Oot is undercover agent for the KGB. Cool, so he's like... He's in election stuff then. <laughs> we'll figure this out, Arrows RC. He says, uh, Dan says he wishes I was closer so we could he could show up more. We could show up more. I think we're getting there a year in on these things, and I'm finally just a couple steps away uh, from d- dragging in people for interviews better. Um, I'm going to have to switch my software over to the same stuff that... Um, Wesley's using. I'm using a different software than Wesley. His, it's working, and he's able to use Skype, which everyone has to bring people in. So once we get set up with that, you're going to see more interview shows, and when there's new releases, we're going to bring Dan in. So he won't only be in the chat, but he'll be able to be in the room, and I can shut up and let him tell you all about it, which is really what's cool. I mean, I think it's pr- fairly audacious to think that a guy can sit here and, and with a comment section, work it out. But um, I've done it for about a year. <laughs> um, which one of my buddies was asking about the F-35? Eric Rogers is uh, answering one of our buddies. I cannot wait. Yeah, thank you, Boozer. I know it. I'm going to need you to help me out. I'm going to have to get that OBS software. Um I did sell my F-35 because I did not have room to come home with the one and a half F-14s that I ended up getting at Jet Jam. So I only flew it four times and I sold it to a guy named Leo um, and he was cool and he was happy with it and I never got to make a video on it. So are they out of stock? Who was it I was asking about it because I'm totally getting another one. I'm totally getting another one. Archer Aviation, good evening, everyone. I was irrigating my airfield. That sounds awesome. Um, Bill Surratt, it was you. Yeah, man, I definitely want to take that thing up. I, be watching Mary Boozers because I'm pretty sure he probably filmed his today. Um, but, yeah, I wanted, I, I got to get another one. I really hated to get rid of it. It, it's small enough. I probably could have still worked it out, but I had crammed. So I have a little car. I mean, it's a, it's a, I guess officially a SUV, but it's like a small one. It's a Ford Freestyle or something like that. And um, I had eleven jets in that car already, um, and so I had to get rid of. Uh, I, I just had to make. I was lucky to get that stuff in there as it was um yeah mary boozers uh check that out because i'm sure yeah he says wednesday he'll have his f-35 video up so that's cool um the troublemaker oot uh thanks for dropping the link love rc i absolutely will thanks ryan says bill mary boozer ryan what are your thoughts on the admiral receivers with gyro for bigger edfs thinking of getting one for the l39 i just ordered Boozer's fault after discovering his channel. Um, you got to get a trailer and deck it out for sure, Dennis Farley, and put my logos all over the side of it. Archer picked up the L39 camo today. Pretty impressive. It is. Um, ute, ute. Okay. Man, I really like. If I have a Spectrum radio, I want a Spectrum receiver. And if I have a Futaba radio, I want a Futaba receiver. I know a lot of guys have wonderful success flying um, other stuff. I had I had successes and failures on some Admiral stuff, and and there's it just it could have been my fault. I don't know, but I really like sticking with proprietary stuff. So that's me. Um. You know, I, I, I do, however, don't mind using them in stuff that is, like, basically under 200 bucks. But I really don't want to put them in, in 
stuff that cost me 500 bucks. <laughs> Thanks, Ricky. <laughs> Means everything. And I totally read it. I totally read it. I was like, yeah, cool. And I like, answered to myself. I work today. Saturday, we work six days a week at my job. Um, I was busy. Then we looked at a house. Then we did church. And here we are. Um, and built a plane in the meantime somehow. And then put this show together which I, I while I was eating dinner. Uh, oh, no. Eric, Skip crashed his jet. Anthony Sanfilippo, Detrim Receiver, I really like your video. Helped on the mix is not a bad radio from what I see. It's not. It's not. Um, it's not my favorite, but... Deuce is wild. What's the what's that mean? Fund star. Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. Tube has Tyrannus tattooed on his forehead. <laughs> uh last week, says Eric. Oh no. Dave Koishki likes the Admiral slash lemon in eighty of my planes. Never had an issue. I like the Admiral Gyro receiver for the couple of planes I have them in. That's how you roll. Nice. What's your favorite radio? Uh, my favorite radio? Man, I kind of default to the Futaba all the time because I don't have to mess with binding the receivers. Like, I've had a family of receivers forever. You don't have model match, and it's hard to, you can't really do a slowdown on the flaps. But um, it's easy to use. I got to tell you, I never ever would have went for that Futaba radio if I wasn't working magazines. So I have that Futaba radio because when I was writing reviews for Model Aviation, AMA Magazine, Park Pilot stuff, I got that radio for a review. So I've been rocking a Futaba 8J since I wrote the review for it. I never got rid of it. Um, had I not done the review on the Futaba radio, though, I would have stuck with Spectrum the whole time. Um, I do, however, I do enjoy my Spectrum radios, too. So here's my DX8, and then the Futaba is sitting back here on the bench as well. So I really like them both. Um, I think if you're going to, like for me, a guy who really wants to fly every new thing that comes out, honestly, you've got to have Spectrum to take advantage of the bind and fly stuff and be able to talk about AS3X and things like that and safe and, and things. Because, uh, man, what a, what a bargain, right? Twenty, thirty more dollars and you get that like already tuned gyro receiver, which that's awesome. So I think you, if you're gonna, if you're a, a lover of the hobby, you gotta have something Spectrum just so you can, uh, for me anyway, so I can bind up without having to burn through my other receivers. I use a bunch of Spectrum receivers um, that rotate around and things that don't have. The only AS3X Spectrum receivers I have came in the stuff. I don't take them out. And I don't program them. So when I put a gyro in my anything, I always use the Hobby Eagle stuff. Just to answer that question. Spreading the RC sickness. Still good with his DX9, says Deuce is Wild. Yeah, everybody's got their thing. Um... Mary Boozer RC, I don't have an IX-12. I may pop on the 20 when it's released. I'm skipping the 12 because within two years, I'll have my first turbine and may need more channels. Yes. Uh, Christian RC, good to see you, man. Sorry you're late, he says. Just showed up. You'll have to catch the replay, man, for some of this. Uh, Ute loves his DX9. Uh, Mav Pro, Brian K, what is going on? Good to see you. Skip Bill in the house, man. Good to see you. Sorry uh, about your L39 I just heard. David Christie, what's going on? Yeah, catch the replay. We got a cool new release 
uh, from arrowsrchobbyzone.com. Um, check this out. I'm going to show it to you. This thing is sweet. Look at that. It, it looks like every favorite sport jet you've ever seen put together. 64 millimeter, four cell power, 11 bladed fan. Sounds amazing. And it's got a cavernous battery bay to accommodate from basically 2200 to 3000 4S packs. There's room for larger, but I don't think you'd want them. But I haven't flown it yet. I just got it put together. Just received it today, ladies and gentlemen, down to the wire. Um, hour and a half. Wow. Here we are still. If you leave, hit that like button. Uh, don't forget, please. Um, yeah, check that out. And then look at this baby does not have retracts, but it does have flaps and a working rudder. It's made out of EPO foam. It's nice. And then you can see, oopsie, there's the flaps. And then check out this. It's only 159 pre-order available in like a month month and a half is that the coolest thing or what and after you get one go ahead and drop your payload in the death star and destroy it and save the galaxy if you would please i'm out of my mind <laughs> love it love it love it love it thanks arrows rc thanks hobby zone Thanks, Hanger Rats community, for being there for me, for us, for each other. Uh, yeah, you. we're going to blow up the Death Star, I'm telling you. Uh, awesome. Plastic Aviator, I, I think you... Uh, Anybody on Instagram needs to follow Plastic Aviator. I, did I make you a moderator? Yes, I did. Drop your if you if you want to drop your uh, handle or your link for your Instagram for our Instagram friends. Uh, Arrows RC says uh, thank you to the community. You all have been wonderful at giving uh, feedback to Arrows RC. Please continue to do that. Um, this is how um, we, we've seen this work before, right? When the, when the community and the people who bring us the products put their heads together, we all benefit and, and we get better and better stuff all the time. And if there's something wrong, we need to know. You know, the companies who make it need to know to get it right. So please keep doing that. It's one of the best relationships you could ever have uh, in, in a consumer type of situation. Most, most things don't have that kind of tight relationship where I, I feel like, look, the guys that are in hobby business love the hobby. Yes, they're in business. They have to make enough. Thanks, Mitchell. They have to m make enough to keep it going. But if they... They wouldn't be in the hobby of RC, even as a business, if they didn't love it. Because you could you, you make more money flipping houses or doing something else. So so we love it. Everyone who's in it loves it. Um and, and, and you can tell when they do because those companies do right by the modeler, by the consumer, by us. They listen. So keep it coming. Keep it coming, you guys. Mitchell Farley, thanks so much. <laughs> yeah, if you if you didn't have it pulling on you from every other direction, there's Pilot Ryan taking your you know figuring out how to spend your money for you. Where's Paige? Did she get enough at Neffy? Guys, the when you get a chance to go to these events, you you uh you you, you really <laughs> love it. Uh you get to meet these people that you that you see online all the time. Um and spend time with them. The Farley family was awesome. If you've seen any of the live streams, and a lot of you guys probably have, man. man Dennis was like my right-hand man at Neffy. Uh, Mitchell was there. Paige was there. D 
Dennis's wife was there, but she hates me like most of your wives do because I think I spend his money <laughs> a little bit. I got quite a position, you know. You guys hit me all the time. Like you're like, I'm looking at this one, this one, and this one. What should I do? And then I ask you a bunch of questions, and then we come up with something right. And I hope I, I send you to the right place. Uh, definitely support HobbyZone.com. They've got everything really. Um, e flight. FMS, and of course the Arrows RC line that's exclusive to them, which is, uh, I'm speaking form right now, but I just know it's super cool. Um, they've been in business 25 years, holding it down in Minneapolis. Uh, check them out if you haven't. Uh, get on their mailing list. They put out a mailer and give you updates of what's going on in sales and promotions and things. So uh, check them out. But man, 25 years in the business selling other people's stuff. So this Arrows RC thing that they're doing, how cool is that and how exciting that must be. Uh, thanks, Fred. We are trying and more importantly having fun with this. Cool. Uh, all Pilot Ryan's fault, too. Dan at Arrows, thanks again for the Corsair. Really nice plane. Skip built. Well, he won the Corsair. Uh, Got to run, Ute. Thanks for all you do. Appreciate that, man. Uh, Dan says... His wife says he should retire, but he loves planes. Man, Chris Jackson, I might have to look into that. Keep reminding me about that. I'm not able to do it on Teespring, but I might be able to do it somewhere else. I'm st- I got to get hats done too. I, it's crazy, and I hope it doesn't sound like whining, but I am ridiculously busy keeping up. W- I. You know the expression, bit off more than you can chew? I'm very close to choking. (laughs) Let's just say. Um, But it's it's how I operate. But it's hard to do more. Maiden flight on P51, 850 millimeter. Any advice? Yank and bank onboard video. Uh, Love RC motion and Hobby King. That's cool. I don't have any experience with that aircraft. Uh, Going to Jolly Good end of August, I won't be going, no. Um, Just because I I had spent two weekends in a row at events, and I really, I don't really get away too much. We got a family business here to run, and I really do most of my stuff on video. I would love to, but I will peel away probably October or September uh, to Texas, hopefully. Um, I would love to go to the Jolly Good Show, though. I had a great time seeing James and Alex and um, Steve Hodges and everybody at Nephi. Uh, I, I know a lot of those guys I'd see again at the Jolly Good Show. Uh, Steve Hodges and his boys and probably Tired Iron. Dave Kowiski says, quit whining. Thanks, man. Uh, you are about to move, too, Ryan. Yeah, absolutely, Eric. I'm ready for another Nephi. I'm telling you, Paige, the minute you go to one of these things, you're already ready planning for the next one. It's like, oh, man, a year away? Come on. Uh, Mary Boozer, my doppelganger, says, speaking of hates, Ryan, I'm a real pilot now. I got my Jetworks hat. It's crazy. Came with a free Super Viper. You little turkey. (laughs) Ha, ha, ha. Guys, we got to watch Mary Boozer tomorrow unbox this thing. Um, follow him on Facebook if you do Facebook, you guys. Uh, yeah, I don't like moving either. Um, keep up the good work. What makes a company good is when they interact with their buyers, and that's what you're doing. Thanks. I'm just a social media guy. I, I'm, I get to, I have a voice, and like people listen, so I get to work with companies that do stuff, and that's that's what it is. Um, that's what it is, Christian RC. Um, it's I think it's cool that they value the community here enough to let me be the one that unveils these products. I mean, it's the coolest thing. Um, I mean, I get the plane. That's it. We don't have any deals worked out. These things are solid quality too. I don't. I'm no shill. You guys know me for long enough. You know, um, Chris Jackson. Yes, that is my trademark. And I did that on purpose. Even before I knew how to put a logo in a video, I was branding myself because I wanted to do this. Rick Madison, this is a good question. Have you seen the new E-Flight 80mm Havoc fly? Yes, I have. 
and in the hands of some bad pilots, like good bad, like sick of the sick. Uh, Ali and his kid from Horizon Hobby flew it at Jet Jam um, expertly. I mean, just dynamite with a laser beam, guaranteed to blow your mind. And I'm getting a havoc um, in the future, so I'll get to try one out as well. I definitely can't fly them like those guys, but I can fly them like you guys, and that's why you like me, right? Because we we kind of all on the same page, right? Um. So no, so Rick, yes, I have seen it fly. Uh, it was awesome. I'm definitely wanting to try one out as well. Um, and, and you know what? It's going to come with that that technology, that receiver. So that's kind of cool. I want to try it. Um, let's see. Pff. Captain Photon. Arrows RC is taking a chance with you, Ryan. He has huevos. <laughs> huevos. I'm going to cut this at two hours, I promise. Uh, Dan and Kathy are probably like, dude, go, go, knock this off. <laughs> um, be careful, Victor. Things might get bad. Wes, if it was winter, he'd be back. Life of a retired guy, Wes. It's hard to be humble when you're totally awesome. We get it. Come on, man. Deuces. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. Eric Quinn, you out of here, man? What's up? See ya. Uh, evening, everyone. Just got in from the field. What's up? RC Weaving. What'd you fly today, man? What'd you fly today? RC Weaving. Kawishki's laughing at me, talking about two hours. Arrows got eggs. Huevos. Huevos. B-17, sixth flight. Which B-17 did you get? I forget, man. Do You got the Hobby King one or the uh, flight line? No, nah, I'm not going to go three hours. I still got to get dinner somehow. Sean Fiol, what's up? Wesley, you going to be wearing your hat tomorrow? Uh, so be it, says Victor. Chasing your daughter while fishing. Anthony says he likes it that I talk. Uh on the videos about what I'm doing and stuff. I appreciate that. Jack Miller, see you later. Tomorrow is maiden day for the Super Viper. That's right. You got the big electric one as well, Jack Miller? Man, you got to come on the chat with Boozers and, and talk about it a little bit. Um, free wing, got you, Weaving. Awesome. Hey, Weaving, did you see what we released today, what we announced? Check this out. Look at this. Uh, Deuces Wild says he's got to get out of here before he starts sounding goofy. Well, I started that way. Um, look at this thing weaving. Oh, man. 64 millimeter 11 blade. Guess what? 4S power, EPO foam, rudder, everything, flaps, fixed gear, which is fine, man. For this little dog, and the battery compartment's huge, you can fit a bunch of different 4S size packs in here. 8 o'clock tomorrow, Eastern Time, Jeff Jackson. Um, that's the question, Wes. Deuces Wild, see you later. Catch you on the next podcast. Um, Arrows RC saying goodnight to folks as well. We're approaching that time. Um, any last minute questions? So it looks like the vote is the jug for the next video that you want to see. Um, Captain Mavic did uh, Captain Mavic did a little bit of chase cam uh, on that P47 Redtail custom job, uh, and he was able to film me right before I blew up the Death Star. So that's fun. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're back here though. Dave's RC, what is going on, man? You went to the movies like two nights in a row. What's up? What would you see this time? Oh, you missed a good show, bro. You'll have to catch this on the replay. Did you see the new plane, Dave? Dude, we did another release from Arrows RC. Exclusive on the Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike RC YouTube channel. You see this, baby? Dude, look at this. I'm going to show you the picture. Dave's RC, you, gotta, you can't come in and pop out. You got to stay now for a minute. Check that baby out. 
Check it out. That thing looks solid. Epo foam, plastic louvered cheater vents. This thing is dialed in. Guess what it costs. Look how nice it is. Guess what it costs. Don't anybody answer for them yet. This thing is super dope. Archer Aviation. you Eric Rogers. You're not supposed to answer, man. I know what it costs. All right. He beat me to it. There it is. 159 4S Power. Same movie twice. Cool, man. Eric's on the ball, but he wasn't supposed to be weaving. <laughs> you know, I don't know if this is an introductory price. Um, or that's okay, Eric. I'm just playing. Uh, it is amazing. It, um, it is plug and play. Archer Aviation comes with everything you see there. It's got an 11 bladed EDF and it's um, 40 amp ESC, four cell power. It's fixed landing gear, but you can tell uh, it's got flaps. Look at that. And it's got a huge battery compartment. And it's only 159 I don't know if that's introductory or what. It, it might be. I know the Warbirds are going up in the next few weeks. Um, but look at this baby again. It's nice. That F-35 is out of stock, man. I got to get one. No Maiden yet on this. I just got it today. Just got it put together and barely got the show worked up in time. I mean, it was a crazy day. But... You know, Dave, thanks, man. Um, yeah, I've been busy making plans to blow up the Death Star. You know what I'm saying? Dude, it's 159, Dave. And they're going to be here in like four or five weeks. Um, as long as we save the universe, you know, we've got to blow up the Death Star first. So, you know, you never know. We'll go back to back to this. Um Having fun with the technology, you guys. Uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, it's like a miniature Avanti. It's like a miniature Super Viper. It's Epo Foam. Um, it ought to do great on grass. And I'm going to show you that as well. And it's got flaps, so it'll get off in a hurry. See y'all next Saturday. Signing out, Ryan and Arrows RC. Great inexpensive starter EDF. We'll let the folks at my club know. We have a lot of peeps that want to move from props cheaply. This is a great one for that. And tell them where you heard it. MTV News. You hear it first. Right here on Pilot Ryan YouTube channel. Uh, Dave's RCC later, man. Yeah, catch this, catch this thing early, man. Catch this thing. I mean, it's a two-hour show. I get it. <laughs> it's, a, it's an experience, though. So, um, guys, we are going to wrap it pretty soon, too. So, any last-minute questions? We are, you guys already told me, we're going to do the, the jug next. I'm going to edit up the jug. Uh, Captain Mavic, he did some chase camera footage with a drone, which was cool. Mike filmed it from the ground. I got a regular flight with it, and then I got a flight flying with a Mustang red tail from FMS. Dave... See you later. This is for you. Appreciate you, man. Thanks. Had fun on your show last night. I love hanging out when when I get to be in the chat. It's cool. Um, I feel like I'm funny, but I don't know if I am. But I have a good time on your show. Um, check out Boozer tomorrow. It's going to be great. Paige Farley, you're, you're talking future tense. It's past tense. He already pulled the trigger, I'm betting. Or at least he will. I think this is perfect. He's been wanting to get into EDFs. This is 4-cell power. And it's like a solid model. Not one of the old 4S models that's kind of chintzy. Dennis Farley, that's what I'm thinking. So the gear pop out for belly landing. Does it have any skids on the bottom or just foam? It's just foam, Mitchell. Um, of course, you know, packing tape can fix it up. And honestly, if you, I feel like if you block that cheater on the bottom, you still got the intakes and the two on the sides that would get it done. Um, Ryan is a funny guy. He has told me on Instagram before. <laughs> yes, Captain Photon, that is true. Funny looking. 
No skids on the bottom. Yep. No, not unless you make them. Hey, but you're the 3D print guy. You ought to be the guy who gets one of these and then makes some cool um, plastic bits for the um, to hide the control horns and the servo arms for the guys who are worried about that. Can you you kind of get a load of it? It's hard not to get a glare on this, you guys. I'm trying to figure this out and not get a glare on it. It's really difficult. But there you go. You can see the servo arms and stuff. You you could be the first guy to make some kind of like cool 3D printed part that will, you know, basically like a long plastic spoon for some of that just to get it off of the servo arm. If you do that, you don't need it on the back. Dennis Farley, get on it, dude. I'll help you market them. You can sell them. Actually, it'd be good for anything. You could use those on anything that you were going to belly land. I think this... I can't wait, dude. This thing's going to be a ball. It, I really think it will be. And, and did you see how the gear click in? They just... They have those tabs... Can you kind of see? There's a hole. There's a 90 degree bend and a hole, and then they click in. So they're easy to come out as well. And and if you want to get the nose gear out on the front, let me open this up. You might want to either do a little plastic bit for that, because you can take this collar off it's just a set screw on a on a short little stub so you could put a little bulb of something that you 3d printed on that or you could just take out that servo altogether there it is it's hard to see man it's blown out i'm sorry the, the i'm gonna set up the show way better when i get in the new house but there you go You're going to love it, guys. I can't wait to fly it. I can't wait to show it off to you. I mean, a nice little dope 64 millimeter jet with loads of room in the battery compartment to accommodate whatever you got. Whatever you got. I just hope I don't knock it off of here. I'm trying to keep it up here in the shot with me. It deserves it. Paige Farley says, taking orders for the 3D skid plates, just PayPal me and I'll forward the money to Mitchell. Oh, yeah. Photon's going to have more time soon. Yes. Yeah, man. We still got a made in your A1 Sky Raider, your big dog. Dennis Farley, yeah. It's that kind of style, like the main gear on the old Park Zone T28. If you build skids, I will put them on my free wing 64 millimeter F22. Yeah, I'm telling you, I think a lot of folks would. Uh... Yeah, RC Weaving, dude, this thing sounds amazing. 11 blades might as well be 12. I mean, it's it's fairly whooshy. Um, Farley, you get that worked out, and we'll get that thing marketed for you. Paige trying to get some shoe money says Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny I'm telling you two hours I'm going to kill it any questions for me guys uh, we're going to do the like I said the P47 jug video and then I've got three flights on the free wing F18 maiden day maiden flight day played with a flap to elevator mix a little bit um, saved it twice on landings because the wind got a hold of me. I, I usually hate it when people say that, but it totally did, and you can tell. I mean, it t drifted me over, and then I recovered, luckily. I'd have been really upset if I crashed a brand-new $500 F-18. Um, Captain Photon says, What's up, Dennis, my Texas brother? 
So we're down to 50 cats in here. On your way out, please um, hit the thumbs up, all that good stuff. I still have a Boxster Semi BAE Hawk 70mm 12 blade 6S waiting on US to Maiden. I'll come to you when you're not swamped, plus I want a signature on it. It's my first jet. Yeah, where are you coming from? You out of town? Waiting on you to Maiden? Where you at, Anthony? Where you live at? The shipping date's like... I think five to six weeks. Eight August fifteenth, says Eric Rogers. Thank you very much for that. Reckham Royce, I hope I find a new house with some property too. I'm telling you, it's I'm gonna be frustrated if I gotta fix one up again and I'm not able to do what I want on the place. I'll just keep fixing them up till I get where I want to be, though. I, I, at this point, I refuse. As hard as it is to get out and fly, look at this little empire. <laughs> I mean, it, what if I could fly all the time? I think it'd be, I'd be think it'd be sick. I think it'd be sick. Um, it'd be awesome. Uh, could you imagine if I could fly at home? My boy would learn how to do videography. And I'd get to get a lot more work done. I'd get to fly a lot where the camera's not rolling. I, honestly, every time I fly, the camera's rolling. You guys. I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you. Um, that's why it's real. Because this is what it is. The only times I get to fly, I'm making videos. Uh, except for at the events. The camera's not always rolling, which is pretty cool. Um, Michigan. Okay. Okay. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll have to figure that out, man. You keep on me. I don't. Do you do Facebook, Anthony, or Instagram, or Twitter? You, I think you said you do Twitter, right? Go to the. Do you already follow me on Twitter, man? You can always direct message me places. What's your handle on Twitter, Anthony San Filippo? All right, cool. I appreciate that. What's your What's your handle on Twitter, Anthony? We're hooking up right now, ladies and gentlemen. We'll work this out one of these days. So you have the free wing hawk? Is that what you want to do? Is that what you're talking about, Brosif? I'm just going to type your name in and see what I get since I got nothing yet. Anthony. Just got to sweet talk the wife into filming. Worked great for me. Yeah, wait till you got a handful of kids, then talk to me. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Captain. Let's see, I'm waiting for him to tell me what his handle is. Anthony. San Filippo. Holy smokes, there's a few of them. my name on both Facebook and Twitter. Uh, man, there's so many San Filippos, dude. You, g do do the pilot, Ryan. If you, Did you already? Did you say yes? Sorry, guys. I'm not trying to screw this whole thing up over this, but you already follow me, I think. All right, cool. I'll just, I'll trust you. I'm looking real quick. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm going to lose some of you right now. There's a handful of... Yeah, man. There's a handful of uh, RC dudes. Yeah, I want to... My, my kid's only seven. He's going to be eight. And I swear his first job is going to be filming his dad. Actually, his first job was... Staying in the darn batter's box this season, <laughs> playing baseball. 
Anyway, man, the Pilot Ryan on everything. All right, you search bar the Pilot Ryan. Yeah, Anthony, do it. The Pilot Ryan on Instagram and on Twitter, you get me. And then RC Pilot Slimes on Facebook. Ryan Ramsey, Pilot Ryan, whatever, um, on Facebook as well. Um, yeah, man, when people live far away, Captain, I mean, it, I appreciate the offer, but it's just hard to work it out or make plans, you know. So it's like if it's my kid, I can just boss him around. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Anthony. Yep, if you pay well enough, she'll film for you. Yeah, my wife used to film for me for about two minutes and then start snapping her fingers and want me to land. I knew it was not going to work out. That was even before children. Um, you know, it's so funny. We can really nerd out and get technical about this stuff. And she used to always make fun of me because I would I'd go on and on and on. She'd like she'd like uh, pre bent struts. This is back in the day with snort and bull, where it was like ten dollars for pre bent struts. Another $89 for the retracts you need. Another $25 for their flap servos. You, you, you would have $350 in a park zone 3S powered two bladed P47. Be, or anything they had. Their Spitfire was the same way. You had to buy the, all that stuff extra. Now we get it with AS3X for two, the same money. 250 260 280 And you get everything in it already done hello it's a good time right now they're putting on some FP and see how much your wife makes fun of you yeah I always get completely messed with anytime I put on FPV goggles it'll be fun to see Captain Mavic's chase footage in the video though for this jug I can't wait to get that out I was kind of previewing everything last night and I, I got videos I forgot I had I've got stuff from Jet Jam too that didn't hadn't made it yet. I didn't have Mike for Jet Jam, so it's not going to be as good. Captain Mavic, I've been talking about you. Hey Ryan, late to the game. Are you going to Flight Fest? I wish, man. I, I want to see some of that stuff. You know, me and my kids started making one of those kits they have a while back, and we never finished it. And um, and then we he's gotten into Star Wars over the last little while. And so I'm more inclined to try to build something out of that material that's I can't buy. Like I can't buy Anakin Skywalker's like aircraft thing from Clone Wars, right? But I can buy a cub all day long, a million different kinds. So it's like we, we kind of want to do the foam board deal, but I think I, we just want to go from scratch, scratch, scratch. And not build a plane that we can already get. But anyway, I would love to go to Flight Fest. I'm not. But I was just talking about you. Um, I'm getting ready to work that F, that P47 video. And you've got some really good um, drone footage. You know, chase footage. So thank you for that, Captain Mavic. And um, that video will be up next week. Unless my hands get cut off or something. Um, yeah, guys, Captain Mavic, man, where you at? Let's do this. I want you guys to check him out, too, because this guy is really busy, and he's growing his channel as well. I'm going to make him a moderator right now. Captain Mavic, please feel free to drop the link to your channel if you want. Um, and you guys that want to check him out, go ahead and do it. Tap that notification bell, and you can see what he's up to. Um, I think you're primarily drone, is that right? I mean, Captain Mavic it definitely kind of tells you everything, right? Uh, and you work in video as a day, as your real job as well, right? Like in production, I believe, uh, which is cool. Um, RC Weaven does a lot of chase camera stuff as well. You guys should definitely check each other out. RC Weaven, you drop a link to your stuff too. Um, everybody's super nice saying hi to the Captain Mavic. Hey, yeah, thanks for dropping the link. Um, RC, we even dropped the link for you. And uh, awesome. You got to drop your own link too, RC, we even. You guys can see what, what the other's up to. Captain Mavic started on airplane, still flies him. But, I th but he's you had a cool ground station there at the show. I didn't get to check it out, but um, nice. 
RC weaving. Cool, man. Cool. We're at two hours. I'm still here. Let's see if anything happened on my... Uh, usually these shows, I'll get like one or two subs out of these shows. Let me see uh, if it changes. I'm not sure if it changes. I don't think it does. There it is. We crossed 5,000, ladies and gentlemen, the other day. Let me see what it looks like on my real phone. Yeah, that's not right either. The one you see is probably more correct. And since you're just getting here, Weaven, um, Weaven and Captain Mavic, I want to let you know how serious the task at hand is right now. We only have one chance <laughs> to knock it out. We got to kill this Death Star if it's the last thing we do. Uh, the plane next to me, Biff Rude. Man, check this out. This is what it is. It is this aircraft right here, and that's what this whole show is all about. The brand new to the market, brand new to everyone, 64 millimeter, four cell power, flaps, rudder, everything but retracts, sport jet from hobbyzone.com. This thing is only 159. It's made out of EPO foam and it's uh it's slick. Let's see here. We'll go to the specs page and you can see some of that. You've got some dimensions, you know, 36 inch wingspan, about 40 inches long, uh, specs on the motor, 40 amp speed control, it's XT60s, it's EPO foam, it's super easy to build, just eight screws, no glue, and this thing is only 159, and it should be a very nice uh, entry level EDF for guys who are not quite ready to chunk into the six cell batteries. So check that out. Um, Phantom. Yeah, cool. Captain Photon loves his Mavic. What up, my man? My first chase. Cool, weaving. Drop it. Drop it like it's hot. So we're going to go look at the flap shot right there. A little closer. It's uh, pretty remarkable to have 11 bladed EDF on a 4S jet. Um, it sounds that nice. And is going to get us, um, you know, in the game with EDFs. Biff Rude, I'm telling you, these things are going to be here in uh, five to six weeks. Um, go to HobbyZone.com and lock it in. They're doing pre-orders right now. I think they're going to go fast. Um, we've sold them out every time on anything that we've released, that we've announced from Hobby Zone, the Arrows RC line of Warbirds, and then now we have this beginner jet. Um, I mean, it's it's a wonderful price. Epo foam, solid build, eight screws. This thing's going to take some abuse. You you can learn your EDFs on this. Um, you really can. Biff Rude, tell them where you came from, please. Tell them Pilot Ryan sent you. I hope that we sell these things out, too. Uh, I hope a lot of you guys that want this get in on it. Um, I, I think it's just really neat that they they keep trusting us to handle these releases, and we've all responded very well. It's not just beginner, but toss and boss, says Fred Barron. Yeah, I think this is fun for anybody who wants to kick around. Mike and I love flying our big 6S jets, but I know where he flies in Marion, where he works. He's totally going to be all over this thing because he didn't. He he flies his smaller stuff, his lighter weight stuff. Um, it's it's because he's in a parking lot and he's not at a like legit AMA field. This is better for him. This kind of thing is better. So. This is the only one in the country right now. They the pictures that you see on the Hobby Zone website, they flew this one and did their pictures with this one and then boxed it up and sent it to me. Normally I do an unboxing, but I didn't want to because it's not really how it's gonna come. It was kind of no manual. Just we wanted to let you guys get a look at this thing and not wait forever. 
So we wanted to get everybody excited and really gauge demand on this thing. So because they're just about to get on the water or on the water, um, if if the response is super, uh, super good, they will have time to get that second batch ready um, without much delay at all. So I think that's, that's what it's all about. Uh, yeah, thanks, Biff. I appreciate that. That's awesome. So do they. They're doing a good thing there, and if you're if you're interested on in their warbirds, the prices are going to go. They're going to raise about ten bucks in a couple weeks, I believe it was. Um. Oh, cool. Reckham Roy flew his Ultra Micro A10 today. Captain Photon, appreciate that, man. Uh, Biff Root says no problem. I'm I'm hip to the lingo. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for that, Captain. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see, man. We are over two hours. We're going to wrap it up. I want to remind you guys to definitely um, check out the Merry Boozers tomorrow, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, for the unboxing of the awesome RC Jetworks HSD Electric Super Viper 12S Bad Mama Jamma. Um, the Marlin is a very accessible airplane for guys just transitioning from Warbirds to EDF Jets. This will be a hot plane. I agree, Mary Boozer. And I think the 4S part of it makes it a no-brainer. Guys who wouldn't go for the Jets because they didn't want to go 6S can no longer hold out. This is... Man, I really don't say darling very much talking about airplanes, but I just... My goodness, man. The size of the battery compartment... I mean, it's you can fit big packs in here. This is a 22. You guys want to see real quick? You guys are still here, hanging out 50 deep. I'm gonna if I have one, I'm gonna grab a 4,000. I think it's too heavy for the plane, but I just want to illustrate that it will fit. Crazy, all right. Okay, so pretty popular shapes, right? Pretty popular shapes right here. Um, the 4000 4S pack from Admiral. That's a nice chunk of a battery. A lot of us love them in like the 1400, 1450 millimeter, you know, Warbirds and stuff. Um, it's a good size pack. Here's a 2200 4S pack. So both of these are 4S batteries. You can see the size difference, right? A little bit. I've got a 2200 4S in the aircraft now. And now, just because it fits doesn't mean I recommend it. I'm just telling you, there's lots of room in here. I'm going to fly this aircraft on a handful of different packs because i want to be able to give you guys the best information but this turkey here i'm telling you it fits it fits i'm just moving the the lead out of the way here i'm not going to plug it in You guys see that? Look at. And I, I, I've got room. I can go back with it. I can go forward with it. So a big 4S4000. You guys that have been flying Warbirds and been watching everybody fly jets. And actually, it feels pretty good on the balance, too. So we're going to try it on a bunch of different packs, you guys. Um, but I just wanted you to know it will take... A wide range of batteries and I think that's always a nice thing to have I, I really enjoy my FMS um, 70 millimeter f18 
but I can only fly one battery in it. Miller RC couldn't fly today, throwing chunks. That's too bad. Mitchell Farley, thanks, man. Just click the button. I hope you told him it was because of us. Um, Captain Mavic's going to check out your videos, Weaving. That's awesome. Yeah, man, we're two, two, two and a half. Mary Boozer, yes, man, get one. You know what, Biff Rude? I don't know if they're going to do other color schemes. They might. Uh, there was a call out where people seemed to kind of like uh, red. Yeah, just click the button. It's a great buy. Sounds great. 64 millimeter 11 blade. Thanks, Anthony. Uh, imagine the flight time if it would fly on a 4000. would be like eight minutes at moderate cruise. We're going to find out, Tom. I'm super pumped. I actually have... You know what's crazy? I have some 4S 5500s and 5000s from 8S setups that I have that um, <laughs> I should be able to go a long time. Uh, you got to be careful, though, on the ESC. I mean, it is only a 40 amper, but, yeah, it ought to get around pretty good. You know, you cross a line where things become too heavy. But there's a lot of wing here, and I was actually surprised at how good it still felt with that 4,000 in there. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, RC Weaven says this plane is so right for a custom paint job. That is absolutely true. That is true. And it, the Marlin does look pretty good right now, though, I got to tell you. I got to tell you. Um, I'm, I'm really anxious to see how it flies. I cannot wait, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I got a I got a gyro installed on my Freewing F18, so I'm going to take that baby back out and show you guys what it, I, I did to it. Oh goodness, guys! I always look forward to this thing. Let's see. I'm going to tweak my stuff a little bit because I want to go back to this cool screen I made and see if I can do it. I had it screwed up last week and music was playing during this thing, which is not what I wanted. Um, yeah, there we go. Let me do this. Bam. We're getting ready to end the show, so I'm just playing around. Uh, keep it light. 40 amps is weak, says RC Wows, dude. Waz, dude. Uh, yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, if they... Look, if if these things go down because it's not enough, then they'll fix it. But this is reputable. I trust it. Um, yeah, no music. Yeah, I got that fixed. That was my fault. Hey, thanks, Captain Mavic. Yeah, no elevator music. Hey, no music this time. Yeah, I figured it out. It was my fault. It was stupid. But check it out. At the underscore pilot ryan on instagram check me out there little dave is tired and going to bed shortly have a great one fellow rats see you later dave kawishki we're gonna be done in like five minutes uh tom heat dirks we met at uh jet Cham. you ended up getting to fly a bunch of stuff you brought didn't you uh dennis farley says good night dave k see you dave says wayne lee 6 30 uh, Mitchell Farley says later Dave I wonder how many guys bought this jet tonight if you popped on this jet give me like give me an emo you don't have to say so but just give me a bunch of emojis or something if you popped on this jet or you or you're gonna good time tonight see you tomorrow guys and you Ryan all right boozer sounds good flew the Avanti maiden flight that's right uh, Biff Rude says, me just now. Cool. I know Mitchell got it, and I bet Dennis gets it. Mitchell Farley, sweet. Uh, see you later, Boozers. Reckham Roy, looks like he got it. Anthony Sanfilippo, Maker's Mark time. I'll buy. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any. I do have a beer upstairs. There's an emoji of, what is that, Dennis? <sighs> Flying carpet? What the heck is that? Your wallet going flat? Bill Shepard says, later, Ryan. And guys, I have a P-39 to unbox. Thanks for doing this. You're very welcome, Bill Shepard. The P-39 is awesome. Uh, I, so many good ones go through my hands that I wish I could keep them all. I'm getting ready to move, so I'm kind of getting rid of stuff. My buddy Dennis Farley picked up that P-39 from me. Uh, Biff Rude, cool, man. 
uh, jets. It's jet baha flying carpet. Gotcha, gotcha. That's cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. You get your jet stuff going, and you'll you'll be ready to go when it's time. You know, to uh, take care of business. You know, sometimes we've got things to do like um figure out how to blow up the death star you know what i'm saying <laughs> um tom heat dirks did you fly any bob violet jets they let me fly the f86 it was sweet you know what i should have gotten line for that stuff you know why i didn't fly the bob violet stuff because i didn't want to buy the bob violet stuff i knew if i flew one it'd be over i'd be going composites and stuff um one of these days maybe when they decide they want this community to see their products really well, I hope they'll step to the plate. That's what I want to see. I, I give them, I, I give enough out on this stuff. I want to see them give it up too. It'd be a big deal. If I open the box, I buy it. Probably the same for if I fly it. For real, dude, it's tough. Oh, cool. That's the kind of coffee you can finish off with a spoon. Holy grounds, Batman. All right, guys. I value your time. I could stay forever, but I really, I guess I need to go. I believe I will buy. I believe I will buy. Thanks, Enrique Kramer, for telling me. I appreciate that, actually. Uh, I w you know who did fly the Bob Violet Jets is uh, I actually got a video of this. It won't be very good because I didn't have a, a legit camera. But I'll do my best in the editing process. When I edit these things, it, it's not to pull wool over your eyes. It's to show you the best thing I can. Uh, if, I, if I couldn't zoom it while I was filming, I'll zoom it in the post-production process. But Tom, uh, I did have... Dave Kowiski flying his first flight on one of those Bob Violet models and, and maybe also the team pilot who ripped the sh who flew the sh snot out of it. So I do have some of that coming still. I can't get to it all. Um, ah, goodness sakes, y'all. 44 still in here. What's up? Great show, boozers. Thank you for that. Um, you guys save it for tomorrow. We'll we'll go over and hang out with the boozers tomorrow and watch them unbox this awesome. You know, it's funny. We got both extremes on sport jets right in front of us right now. And I think that's just the coolest thing that we're going to have. Um, check that out. So this is the little, you know, 36-inch wingspan, basically Super Viper. And then tomorrow we're going to have... The RC Jetworks Big Monster HSD Super Viper that looks a lot like this um, unboxed on the Boozer Show tomorrow. Can't wait. Uh, see you on the Boozer's channel tomorrow night. He's yelling at me. It is time to go. Ladies and gentlemen, let me get back here to my, um, my deal. Let's see here. We're going to blow it up a little bit, I think, for the goodbye portion. That doesn't work, does it? I'll do it like this. Do it like this. We'll do it like that. We'll do it with a wiffle ball bat. So, I'm on the run. Anybody like the Beastie Boys? I did when I was a kid. All right, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming over. It's been a long show. It always is. Two and a half hours of hanging out with all of you guys is always so much fun. Um, Trick Mustang, that's, I, that's nice. I just talk a lot. That's really all. Uh, there's so many great pilots out there. Wait till you see some of these videos coming out from our buddies, Mary Boozer. Uh, we filmed our buddy Bobby Kamita flying that F-22 with me, um, which was fun. And then he flew the dog fiddlings out of the Flex Innovation Cessna 170, um, which that video is coming soon. It was a nighttime flight, his first flight, and he flew it like he had, had owned it his whole life. Uh, see you guys later, Dennis Farley. I think he popped on his first jet. That's super fun. Uh, you guys got to show these things off and tag me 
um, wherever you post it and, and tag arrows. Um, I might end up doing their social. Who knows? I don't. I don't know what's going to happen there, but it might happen. Uh, but for now, they're relying on on us here in this community, and it's working. So grassroots, it is. Uh, Barry G, good to see you, man. Um, good night, hanger rats. Be staying tuned to the channel. Tap the bell on all your friends you subscribe to. Uh, they're they're working hard having fun and sharing with you you know it's so easy to go to the flying field and just go fly which is awesome but the guys who take the time to make a video and capture it whether it's for posterity or for growing a channel or whatever reason you know give them some love because it, it's an extra step you know what i mean it, it just always is um and so they're doing that so they can share it with you Fred Barron, thanks, man. Awesome show. Thanks for all you do. Appreciate it. Stick of monkey pants. Filming and editing is two times, two to three times the work. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I'm sitting on loads of it. I can't get to it, man. Because um, then you have to maintain and curate that stuff as well. I answer a lot of questions and stuff. Guys, I love it, though. Um, we're going to get this baby out as soon as we can. Be looking for the FMS Custom P47 Tuskegee Airman Paint Scheme video with chase cam footage coming from my buddy Captain Mavic uh, from Muncie. And then my buddy Tim was flying the Red Tails FMS P51 Mustang. Uh, lots, of, lots of cool stuff still coming from Jet Jam and Nephi, as well as things we've made since we've been back. So uh, Freewing F18 coming soon as well. Oh, my goodness. And I got some great flights of the Timber Brothers uh, with their F-86s flying formation. Um, just so much good stuff. Stick around. There's a lot to come. Guys, I really appreciate you. We're going to roll. I hate this part. Leaving. Mostly because, too, I don't know how to end it as smoothly as I used to since I have this new software stuff. Um, we're rolling. Five. Hanger rats forever. Three you later. You're too good to be forgotten. That's right. Stick a monkey pants. Number one. RC hobby. Best time ever. Uh, Captain Mavic. Guys, check out him. If you want to see what Flight Fest is about, he's going. He's going to be capturing a bunch of footage. Subscribe to our buddy Captain Mavic. Hit the bell so you can see when he posts stuff from things he goes to. Ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate you. See you next time. Show 48 in the books. Lock it up. Chalk em, boys. We'll see.